his phone. You see that right there in front of you? That little tower with the marigolds at the top. These marigolds here probably look a little sad. I transplanted those a couple days ago, but they're actually doing pretty good. This is my tower. I've got chives and onions here. These onions were one just that I took out of my kitchen and I cut the tops off and planted them. And then I transplanted them here. And this is my radish bed. Now really, I would have liked to put them... I wanted strawberries. I wanted some strawberries and herbs. To put there. strawberries in that, you know, tower thing. But I, I actually could not get any strawberries anywhere this year. I did try some seeds. I had a few that sprouted but they were just the wrong kind. So anyways, um, that right there is, is not my idea. I got it from Marky Big Smoke. So I just wanted to give Marky Big Smoke a shout out. He is on um, Team Across the Pond or Over the Pond. I forget how you say it. But I got the idea from Marky Big Smoke. So thank you Marky Big Smoke. If you check his channel out I'm not sure which video um, that one's in but I'm sure it won't be too hard if you look at his channels he has some amazing stuff going on over there so Marky Big Smoke thank you so much I loved your idea mine is not as big as yours but I did the same kind of like I put um, old wood and compost and then I did some soil that kind of atmosphere in the in the pots themselves but anyways check out Marky Big Smoke he has a really awesome channel so today's Friday I'm wearing my red to support remember everyone deployed that's really big for me because I'm a Navy veteran myself um, I, I have lots of family members that are Navy veterans and that are still active Navy or military members right now so I have a great deal of support for um, military members and those who support our military people, servicemen and women. So I try to remember that on Fridays. And I almost didn't do a video today, not because I was just being kind of lazy and not really lazy, lazy like I've been in the kitchen working and doing stuff in the house. I just, I don't know, got lazy. So my daughters are in the pool so I said well you need to get your butt motoring and do something not a whole lot going on this week so shout out to big you know Marky Big Smoke and I put a, a few clips you know in the video just a couple from during the week but it's been a quiet week it's been really hot been fighting off the chipmunks and I actually well we actually saved a chipmunk I have a my cherry tomato it has the netting on it to keep the birds away well little chippy chipmunk decided he was gonna get in that netting and he wrapped himself so good around his neck and as much trouble this chipmunks or these chipmunks have caused me you know didn't want to hurt the feller so um, got it untangled and free and he scurried off and He's already probably wreaking havoc on some of my plants right now. <laughs> so I hope everyone is having a good Friday. I don't know where y'all at, but here in North Carolina, it is blazing hot. It's like a sticky hot. I'd rather be in the house, but the girls want to swim. So I'm out here. And anyway, so I hope everyone's having a good Friday. And if you got plans for the weekend, I hope you have a good time and you're safe. And there's one more shout out that I'd like to do and that's for Jane Patrick. Now she doesn't have a um, channel but she's very active on comments and whatnot and I feel that she's a great support you know so just because someone doesn't have a channel doesn't mean you know that we're not thinking of you and Jane Patrick you are one that I think about very often and I just wanted to tell you how much I appreciate your support and your concerns and your questions, especially when my pops 
got injured and Pops, as a matter of fact, is recuperating. He just got home on Monday, so he's going to finish his healing period at home. He still has a hard time getting around. He still has to use the walker and he's got braces on his neck, but he's on the road to recovery. So Jane Patrick, thank you so much for being a great supporter. I really do appreciate it. And thank all of you that watch my channel, that pass through, come back time after time, day after day. I love you guys very, very much. And I'll see you in the next clip. Jessica, you see this? I have a messy counter too. My daughter's got all her toys. I'm actually making some treats. But just saying, it gets messy in this house too. But it's life, and that's what it's all about. Hi, meow. Hi. It's Boon Chow. This is what I want. It's a pepperoni and cheese hot pocket. But yep, yeah, that's what I want. But instead, I'm gonna have this. This is keto bread some sauce, mozzarella, and pepperoni. And hopefully, it will crave the need for this. Anyway, hope all you keto eaters, and whatever your uh, type of style of eating, I hope you're staying strong. Because there are moments when we want this. This is one of them. And well, I'm gonna be good. I don't want to, but I'm going to. Hey guys. It's Boone. It's almost Friday. Almost Friday for my uh, Friday vlog. And let me show you well, what I, I guess you could call this a really, really late dinner or a breakfast. I don't really know. Um, so I wanted to do something different. You know, I was going to make a meatloaf, but <laughs> I wanted to see how this like tube of ground beef would look like just baking it as is. So I seasoned it with Montreal and it looks pretty good and it's going to cut really good. And it takes a while, probably about an hour and a half to cook, but I don't know. I thought it was kind of cool. And baked potatoes for my kids. I won't be eating those. But anywho, see you in the next clip. Bye. I just wanted to share some Happy Meal that I got from my good friend to Neil and really girl you're spoiling me because it's your birthday coming up not mine I have no idea what's in this but I'm pretty excited you know who doesn't love Happy Meal right so just thank you for sharing this minute with me while I check out what's in here wow this is fantastic oh my gosh I cannot make masks at all this is this is really cool and she's got these cute little cupcake stickers on here. I hope I don't rip them. And I did one of them. Because I saved the stickers. I put them on my wall over here. Oh, this is so pretty. I never thought I'd get excited over a mask, you know. But especially when I don't have to make, I'm even more excited. Because I don't do well with sewing. This is nice. Check this out. Huh? Never thought I'd say that. I was excited about a mask, but in our weird times, you know, it is what it is. So, anyway, oops, I ripped a sticker on this one. This one's really cute. This one has some little flip flops. I love the little um, pleats on these. This is really cool. So, let me try this one. Danielle, this is really cool. Thank you for making these. These are awesome. Round my ears. There we go. It works. And if I need to, I can make it shorter just by folding in one of the pleats. This is perfect. Thank you, Danielle. So very sweet. And the card says fabulous. It's got all these little stickers on it. I'm telling you, cards and such, Happy Meal, just they just make you feel good, especially when you don't expect it. All right, let me see. This is a very, very nice, hope you're having a good day letter. This is really, really cool. Thank you, Tenille. Very nice. So, 
Yay, I don't have to make them. Thank you so much. And thanks guys for watching. Talk to you in the next clip. Bye. So this part of the video, last night I watched Wendy Bear and Mama Does Keto and she made a chocolate keto custard. So I wanted to try it. I love custard. So I made one last night and I was going to have it for breakfast, but I forgot that I made it and I had pizza. Yeah, I had pizza for breakfast, but breakfast was like at, I don't know, one or two o'clock. So I made a vanilla one. It looks funky. I put a little dollop of whipped cream on there because I'm just going to try a little piece. You know, I'm not going to eat the whole thing. And I am eating out of this bowl because no one's going to eat this but me. It's a, it's a keto custard. No one else is going to eat it, so... All right, I'm going to try it, Wendy. It's really good. It has a different kind of a texture than custard, but it's actually, it's actually, it does have a kind of a pudding consistency. It's, it's good. Mm-hmm. So, Wendy, thanks for putting out that video. Um... Those of you that don't know what I'm talking about, Wendy Bear and Mama Does Keto, check out her channel. She's got a lot of awesome things going on there. But this pudding was made with Premier Protein Shake and three eggs whipped up and I cooked mine for four minutes in my microwave. I don't have a great microwave. But if you don't know who Wendy Barron is, you know, I'll link her in the description box. But Wendy, it's really good. Thank you for the idea because I absolutely love custard. And the idea of eating something that tastes like a treat and there's really not anything bad in there for you that is a sugar-free whipped cream that I put on the top but it's very tasty and I liked it so thank you Wendy appreciate so, it so I am gonna close out this video but before I go my poison ivy's almost gone I can wear my bracelets again and I think I do have a little bit of scarring and that's because I didn't stop scratching but oh well what are you gonna do yeah I put some bleach on it like crazy and then scratch the heck out of it anyways it's going away I can wear my bracelets I feel human again so I hope you all have a wonderful weekend with your friends and family stay safe be safe be well and I love you all till next time bye